In this video, we're going to take a look at powers and exponents. First of all, we want to start with a little vocabulary, and that is this number right here is called the base, and this number is called the exponent. This whole thing together is referred to as a power. And powers are a way of writing repeated multiplication. Sometimes people are confused and they want to say that this is 10 times 3. Well, no, it's not another way to write multiplication. It's a way to write repeated multiplication. So what this is saying is we have 10 being multiplied by itself three times. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 10 times 10 times 10. That's what this thing really means. And then we can just go ahead and do that multiplication. So 10 times 10 is 100 times another 10 is 1,000. So 10 to the third power is 1,000. All right, let's take a look at this next one. For this one, we have negative 2 to the fourth power. And if you'll notice, we have several variations that are very similar to that. And I wanted to include those to show what happens that's a little bit different for each one. So for this one, it's saying we have negative 2 to the fourth power. So we're multiplying negative 2 four times. So it means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Four of those negative 2's. So then if we multiply, we have negative 2 times negative 2, which would be 4. Then I'm going to go ahead and do these, this multiplication as well. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's also 4. Then 4 times 4 is 16. All right. Now, you might say, well, hey, this one's the same thing. But it's not. We have to be really careful. If we have a negative sitting out front here, if it is not included in parentheses like this, then that negative is being tacked on at the end. It's not being taken to the fourth power. So another way that you could think of this is if you remember the order of operations where Let's say that we had a negative 1 sitting out front, and then times 2 to the 4th. We would have to do the exponent first, because remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, the exponents, then the multiplication. So we have to take care of this first, then we could add on that negative 1, if you want to think of it that way. Okay? Notice the difference here. This has the negative in parentheses, so we're taking that to the fourth power. This does not. So what this is, is we can think of it as negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We have four 2's being multiplied along with that negative sitting out front. So if we do this multiplication, 2 times 2 is 4, then times another 2 is 8, times another 2, 16, and then that negative 1 gives us, so I'm going to put it equals here and here, and that's going to give us negative 16. Okay? So notice the difference there, an extremely important difference, and one that I've seen students sometimes get tripped up on, so I wanted to make that very clear. All right, now we go over here. Works the same way with fractions. We've got this fraction being squared, so that means we've got that fraction, two-fifths times another two-fifths, two of those. Well, when we multiply fractions, remember we just go straight across. So that's two times two on top, which is four, and five times five on the bottom, which is 25. Can't simplify, there it is. All right, next one. Here we have negative two to the third power. Okay, gonna be very similar to this one, but there's something I want you to notice here. We have negative 2 three times, so negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And if I multiply these, it's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Notice that in this one, we had an even power. A negative to an even power is going to leave us with a positive, because notice how those negatives multiplied. Negative times a negative gets us the positive. So the negatives are all gone, so we end up with a positive. 
in this one, if we have an odd, or excuse me, a negative to an odd power, that means we're going to end up with a negative. Because notice, the negatives here are gone to get a positive, but we still have that one negative, which makes our answer negative. So something to be aware of as well when you work with powers and exponents. An odd power, a negative number to an odd power is going to end up negative. A negative number to an even power is going to end up positive. All right, then this last one, 1 to the 8th power. Again, it's not 1 times 8. It's 1 times 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 1. Eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one times one is one times one. All those multiplied together is just one. Okay? One to any whole number power is just one. All right. So powers and exponents. Remember the terminology here. This number is the base. That's the one that's being multiplied over and over. And this is our exponent right there, that small number up to the right. And the whole thing together we refer to as a power. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.